Exodus is the book uh, this morning we shall deal with sermonically for a few moments. Exodus chapter 14. Begin reading at verse number 10. Exodus chapter 14 and we'll launch verse number 10. If you have it this morning, say, I got it. Amen. The Bible reads thus, And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, so that they were very afraid, and the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. Then they said to Moses, Were there no graves in Egypt? Have you taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you dealt with us to bring us out of Egypt? Is it not the word that we were told of you in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die here in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you this day. For the Egyptians whom you see today, ye shall see them again no more. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord, here's the verse of inference today. Verse 15, and the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. You ought to say amen today. We get a panoramic view of one of the most pivotal points in the history of Israel, God's people. As they take the magnificent trip from Egypt's land of bondage through the Red Sea on toward the Promised Land. This is in the days when pharaohs ruled Egypt. And now they are at the Red Sea fleeing Egypt's bondage. Fleeing Egypt's tyranny. But now they are trapped, boxed in, and locked out. Somebody here this morning feels like the children of Israel. Somebody last night felt like there was a Red Sea in front of them. Somebody here may have felt like there were mountains on either side. Somebody here this morning may have felt like there was Pharaoh's army chasing behind you. Yes, sir. And, and you know, Pharaoh's army can be a bill collector. Yes, sir. Pharaoh's army can be a supervisor. Yes, Pharaoh's army can be a mortgage payment or your rent leak. Pharaoh's army can even be church problems. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody here this morning can identify with the children of Israel. They are in the valley of despair. You see, folks, anytime you see mountains on either side, there's got to be a valley somewhere. And though we sing about the valley life, I want to sing about the mountaintop life, truth is we spend most of our time in the valley. Pharaoh's army charging behind the children of Israel. Then some renegade members of the nation started impeachment proceedings against Moses. Say amen when you can. They said, Moses, it would have been better if we'd have stayed slaves in Egypt. You know, yeah, we were slaves, but we had something to eat. And isn't it amazing, even when God delivers us and answers our prayers and is acquiesced to our demands, we still find a reason to complain. Amen. 
You ought to wake up and say amen this morning.